Egypt. It is the heart of the Arab world, with a population of over 107 million people and the second largest economy in Africa. To transport people and goods across its major population centers, which stretch over 1,000 kilometers along the Nile River Delta and Valley, Egypt relies heavily on its transport infrastructure, specifically its railways. In 1851, Abbas I of Egypt commissioned English civil engineer Robert Stephenson to build Egypt's first standard gauge railway and the first railway in Africa. Three years later, the first section was opened between Alexandria and Kafr al Zayat. Two years after that, the section to Cairo was finished, and in 1858, an extension to Suez was completed. Over the following decades, numerous additional lines were built, and by the start of the 20th century, Egypt had an extensive rail network spanning the Nile River Valley and Delta. However, over the next 100 years, Egypt's rail network plateaued. And due to corruption in the Egyptian Rail Authority and insufficient maintenance, the country's rail lines gradually began deteriorating. Meanwhile, demand skyrocketed. Within a century, Egypt's population increased nearly sevenfold. Nowadays, the rail network serves as the backbone of Egyptian passenger transportation, carrying 314 million passengers a year. This demand, combined with the lack of maintenance, the proliferation of illegal railway crossings, and the theft of track parts, has generated an extremely dangerous situation. Between 1993 and 2013, more than 1,500 people lost their lives due to rail collisions and derailments. With Egypt's population still increasing rapidly, and the current system only growing more outdated, its rail network is in desperate need of a 21st century modernization. As a result, in March 2018, Egypt's transport minister, Isham Arafat, announced plans for a new high-speed rail network in Egypt, linking the Mediterranean with the Red Sea. In September, 2020, a Chinese-Egyptian consortium consisting of the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, Samcrete, and the Arab Organization for Industrialization won a $9 billion bid to build the network. However, in January 2021, news emerged that another consortium, consisting of the German company Siemens, along with Oriscom and the Arab contractors, had signed a memorandum of understanding with Egypt to build the network. Then, in September 2021, it was announced that the Siemens-led consortium had beat the Chinese and was awarded a $4.5 billion deal to construct the 21st century evolution of Egypt's rail network. Egypt's new high-speed rail network will have three phases. The first phase will consist of a 660-kilometer-long line that will start at Marsa Mutra along the Mediterranean before traveling along the coast to the under-construction city of New Alamein and further east to Borg al Arab in Alexandria. It will then travel southeast to 6th of October City in southern Cairo. Finally, it will travel east to Egypt's new administrative capital, a brand new city in the desert which has been under construction for eight years, before reaching a stop at Ain Sokna along the Red Sea. The line, which links the Mediterranean and Red Seas, has been dubbed a Suez Canal on rails. The project's second phase will consist of a line starting at 6th of October City that will then run south along the west bank of the Nile, traveling over 1,000 kilometers and passing through the country's numerous Nile cities, before finally reaching a stop at Abu Simbel near the Sudan border. Finally, the project's third phase will consist of a 225-kilometer-long line starting at Luxor, which will then travel north to Kenna before crossing the desert to the cities of Hurghada and Safaga along the Red Sea. In total, Egypt's high-speed rail network will span over 2,000 kilometers and connect over 60 cities across the country, making it the sixth largest high-speed rail network in the world. It will carry three families of Siemens rolling stock, including 94 of its DeZero four-car electric passenger trains, 41 of its Vectron freight transport locomotives, and 41 of its Velaro electric high-speed trains, which will reach speeds of up to 230 kilometers per hour. In addition to providing trains, Siemens will also be responsible for the project's electrical, mechanical, and control systems. Meanwhile, the Arab contractors and Oriscom will be responsible for building tunnels, bridges, and land bridges to ensure a suitable route for the trains, in addition to building fences and passenger terminals. In total, Egypt's high-speed rail network will cost $23 billion, 
This is being funded by loans from numerous banks and financial institutions directly to the Egyptian government. The project, which is part of a larger plan to upgrade Egypt's overcrowded transport network, protect the environment, create jobs, and strengthen the economy, will provide a list of benefits for the country. Before we continue, let me introduce this video's sponsor, Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens' flagship product, AG1, is an all-in-one nutritional drink with over 75 high-quality ingredients that cover the nutrient gap in modern diets. With vitamins, minerals, and more, AG1 helps keep your gut healthy, resulting in improved digestion, sustained energy, clarity and focus, immunity support, and better recovery. I've only recently started drinking AG1, but have noticed the benefits. It is a great morning ritual that helps me feel refreshed and energized, ready to take on the day. All you've got to do is take your daily AG1 powder, mix it with water or another liquid, and there you've got it. All your foundational nutrition in one beverage. And with a nice smooth tasting flavor with hints of pineapple and vanilla, it also tastes great. To improve your wellness and boost your gut health, try AG1 today. And even better, by clicking the link in the description, you will get a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. You can't put a price tag on your own health, so try AG1 today. Now, back to the video. Ninety-five percent of Egypt's population is concentrated along the banks of the Nile or in the Nile Delta. While this situation generates issues of overpopulation and resource shortages, it is also extremely beneficial for public infrastructure projects. Because of it, Egypt's high-speed rail network will provide 90% of its 107 million person population with access to a safe, modern, and reliable rail system. This will increase connectivity along the nation's population centers and allow for the development of communities up and down the Nile, leading to major economic growth. In addition, it is hoped the new network will promote tourism across Egypt, an industry that accounts for roughly 12% of the country's GDP. Meanwhile, the network will slash travel times. Cairo to Alexandria will be cut from two and a half hours by car to less than an hour by train. Furthermore, by linking up with the major port cities of Alexandria and Safaga, the network will significantly improve the efficiency and sustainability of freight transport across the country. Moreover, by utilizing a fully electrified system, the network will cut carbon emissions by 70% compared to current car or bus transport, positively affecting the environment. Lastly, the project's construction will generate up to 40,000 jobs directly, 7,000 more through suppliers, and even more indirectly across Egypt. While Egypt's new high-speed rail system has some major benefits, there are also some concerns. The first and foremost, cost. $23 billion is a lot of money, especially for a developing nation like Egypt. Some believe this money should be redirected towards other issues, such as poverty, hunger, and congestion in the Cairo metropolitan area. Nevertheless, the project has wide support and is advancing quickly. Since its announcement in March 2018, Egypt's high-speed rail network has made significant progress. In early 2021, land works for the first phase started. Since then, numerous bridges, land bridges, and trenches have been constructed for the first phase. In March 2022, it was announced that construction for the network's second phase had commenced. And in May 2022, contracts for the second and third lines were signed, bringing the total deal up to $8.7 billion. As of early 2023, most land transformations for the first phase have been finished, and numerous passenger stations are under construction. In the upcoming years, Siemens will begin installing the railway technology, and by 2027, the first line between Marsa Mutra and Ain Sokna is expected to be operational. Once opened, the line will be operated by Germany's national railway company, Deutsche Bahn, for 15 years, before being handed over to Egyptian authorities. In the years following the first line's completion, the second and third lines will open, providing high-speed rail service across the nation. Already though, planners are looking past this. An extension west from Marsa Mutra to Benghazi, Libya has been proposed, in addition to a line south from Abu Simbel across Lake Nasser into Wadi Halfa in Sudan. Eventually, the lines could be integrated into a larger transcontinental high-speed rail network, providing quick and sustainable transport across Africa. 
If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you like and subscribe to Futurology for more videos very similar to this one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.